to continue with the basic tutorial of multicharts. Let's start by reviewing what we did yesterday. The first thing we, we learned is how to, how to open a chart is file and go to new and then a new chart, new chart window or simply insert. Let's click insert so this the new chart comes up. Let's pick this and you remember here we can change the the candlestick of different other charting issues uh, charting uh, point uh, models or types line line break Renko bars candlestick and so if we want to change the format we go to format instrument here we go into set we go into settings and here let's say if we want the 20 days back so we click that and then press ok the style the scaling and the volume profile <clears throat> So if we click OK, let's see how all the days load like this. Let's review some of the shortcuts I like. The first one is, is how to attach a window is Control Alt A. And you go you can go through through all of this by yourself, but my favorites are F5, insert an an instrument, and add an F7, insert a study. The other one is add a trend line is Control Alt Q and zoom out. Export to Excel and find an instrument. Then ab about grouping and and insert instruments once as F F5. So let's practice this. Control Alt Q was to add a trend line, right? Control Alt Q. We add the trend line, and then we can copy and paste. By simply here cloning, so you this is a, a good way to to clone the, the trend line. Something else I want to show you is how to do alerts on on studies. So insert the study. Then you could go to signals or indicators. Let's go to indicators and let's put a moving average moving average exponential. So enable alerts and let's say once per bar. And this is the sound that it will play and the visual alert if you want a little box here let's click for f that and also you could set to send you an email every time this alert triggers we click accept and now we have our line and every time the price crosses this line we will get the pop-up here and the sound this is very good very helpful we could do the same thing if we press the line and then double click and we go to, uh, to alert properties here to change we could have them on top of the chart on this sub chart on the bottom or hide let's show on the bottom to see it's something we went through yesterday you see you could have here actually two moving averages and every time they cross you would be able to see the trades on here Something else I want to review is the chart trader. So if we increase, we show the chart trader here. As you can see, there is plenty of orders. We're going to review. We reviewed briefly yesterday, but now I, I'm going to show you how how to use them. You have here the normal button, buy and sell, and the cancel all, and the little calculator that we said it was very helpful. 
So if you want 20 shares, here you have it, and then you have 50 more, you go here, and then OK, and here is 50. If not, you just simply type there. Uh, if you have an entry, if you have an order or position already and you want to add an exit strategy, you click here auto attach uh, for the order. But if you want to to open, to apply it to an open position, you would click this. So it would help you to to attach an order to the open position. If you if you you could drag and drop this to the chart. Let's say if you wanted to stop here. So you see automatically if you drop this here, let's say I'm dropping it here right at thirty up one point thirty seven five here and this is where the price shows. So it's quite helpful. The same thing with the limit. Let's say if I wanted to enter here, so you would show the limit price there. You could modify if you want, but if not you could do that. And the same thing with a with this type of order. You see, you want to stop with a limit. Something else quite interesting is the the possibility of of doing custom custom exit strategies. Here, this is how it, this is how you would add a custom exit strategy. Let's say you you want two tranches on the trade you are already in the trade or before you even on the trade right at the same time you enter in the trade you could attach this automatically so let's say we could do two tranches so I want the profit on on percentages right to make sure it's, it's easier to follow and let's say we want to for the first level Let's say we enter around here, 138, and then we want two brackets, right, with two different levels. So I want the first profit to be at 2%, and the second to be at 5%. Then the first stop loss, I only, I want 1%. Let's do this. One to three. This is how I like it. Risking one to get three, and then the second, the this would be ten profit at ten, and the stop loss would be at three. Here we can pick the quantity we want. Let's say we want here. This is very good because we could choose the quantity on. On percentage of number, but the better is I, I normally do percentages. So 50%, let's do 30, 33% exit here, and then the remainder will will exit the seven, the 66% of the position will will exit either with a 3% stop loss or with a 10% gain. We could add to these tranches break even orders or trailing orders. This is quite helpful. And here we could have, like we saw yesterday, the, the different timing force. And as well, the stop losses, there are two ways to, to exit the, with a stop loss, with a limit of, of a market. If we click here, the auto attach to order, this means if we enter. If, if once we click here, once we enter in a, in a position, this strategy will automatically be included upon our entry. This is quite helpful. So now you see how this is ticked and it's paused. But if we click here, it's auto, uh, auto apply, that means that if I go here with a stop and I click I click yes, this strategy will be already included in here. I don't want to do that at the, at the moment, but this is quite helpful. The same thing we could do with the other strategies. So let me go here and we could save this as well as a template and use it for different stocks. Here let's, let's remove this. Save it like that. This is good. 
the same way I wanted to show you as well the same way we did it on the on the charting trader we could do the same with the with the doom remember the shortcut for the doom is control alt insert so it's control alt insert and we get the doom uh, euro usd connecting to broker now we are connected the same thing we could do here use the same options we did here is this one that we could edit and use it for our orders the orders here will be placed through this to this control panel here this like this okay this is the the yellow line here is the low of the day and this is the high of the day very much you you know this is this is quite self-explanatory this is everything I have for today and hopefully we we have a good trading tomorrow. See you.